Yo, 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 what's going on guys? So, hope everyone's having a great week. Uh, it's actually been a couple days since I've been on here. I've been super busy. Yesterday, got out, enjoyed the open. Got a nice little farmer's tan there. Um, but I want to jump on here real quick and talk about problems because I see so many people facing problems and we make the problems bigger than we make the solutions and what we rely on to solve the problems. Um, but I want to also let you know that there is a spiritual reason or purpose to the problems that we face. And I love Michael Beckwith's um, version of visioning and what visioning is. And I think that that is such a wonderful response to problems and challenges that we face. Um, and to kind of paraphrase and, and break it down. So for every problem that we have, ultimately there's a result or an outcome that we are looking for. Um, and the process by which we get to that result or outcome goes like this. So for every problem, there's a question waiting to be asked. So for every problem with finances, we need to ask a question about the, you know, the nature of abundance. Or for every problem with our health, we need to ask the nature of wellness. Um, for every problem with relationships, we need to ask about the nature of love or connection um, or intimacy or those things. So for every problem, there's a question that we need to ask. And with that question comes an answer. And that answer is a solution. Something is revealed by asking a question of the universe. And the cool thing about asking questions of the universe is that we are able to quiet our minds. We are able to uh, listen, receive, to download answers from the universe. So talking or praying is talking to God. It's making requests. You also have to make time to meditate, to sit in, in silence, to listen, so that you can download the answers. Is absolutely no point to ask questions if you're not going to wait for the answers, right? There's absolutely no point to make requests if you're not going to listen for the steps that you need to take in order to pro progress and move forward. So for every problem, there's a question waiting to be asked. For every question, there is an answer, a solution waiting to come into fruition, to be, to be discovered, to be found out. And with every answer, or solution, there's then an action waiting to be taken. So, so often we identify the problems, maybe we ask questions, maybe we're not good at it, but we can get better at it. But we do ask questions, and there's an answer solution, but then the action that's revealed is something that we don't want to take. So we have to be able to find the, um, find the strength, find the courage, find the, the balls to be able to take the action that we need to. Yep. Uh, if prayer is talking to God, then intuition is God talking to you. Absolutely. So you have to make time to be able to receive it, to, to accept it, to listen. Um, to the answer. No point in asking the questions if you're not going to then tap into what the answers are. Um, and then with every action, uh, action that we need to take is a result or outcome. So problem, problem. We have a problem, we have a, a challenge. Then there's a question waiting to be asked. There's an answer or solution waiting to be revealed from there. There's an action waiting to be taken. And when we take that action, when we step out of what is um, comfortable what is certain to us. When we step into uncertainty, we take action, we take bold action. It doesn't have to be big and bold, maybe it's, it's a simple step, but it produces the outcome or result that we want. So for every problem, ultimately there's a result or an outcome meant to come from that. So if you become result oriented, if you become outcome oriented and you focus on that, you can even reverse engineer all this and ask yourself, so to produce that result, what action would I have to take? To take that action, what answer or solution would I need to know? To, to arrive at that answer or solution, what questions would I have to ask? And that all leads you back to the initial problem. This is a wonderful way to reverse engineer, to reverse hack any outcome that you want to create. Um, one of the things that I love is coming from a belief set. So if there's an outcome that you want to create, what is the belief that I would need to have? How would I need to operate? How would I need to show up in order to produce this? Um, and you can always connect that back to um, the questions you ask, the answers that you are revealed, the actions that you need to take, and then straight back to your outcome. So that's a way to reverse engineer that. That's a way to see that there is a purpose in every problem and challenge that we face. Um, sometimes it's lessons, but ultimately we want an outcome to come out of that. We want something that we can produce. So when we become outcome oriented, when we ask better questions, when we get quiet and allow our intuition to speak to us, allow the universe to speak to us, God to speak to us, um, then we can reveal things. And when we ask better questions of the universe, um, when we talk about abundance, one of the reasons why, why we 
attract scarcity or that we, we promote or generate scarcity in our lives is because we ask questions. We ask of the universe, why am I always so poor? Why can't I catch a break? And the universe will show you the answers to that by giving you examples of it. But if you ask different questions about what is the nature of wealth or what do I need to, to learn in order to bring more abundance into my life? What do I need to appreciate? Um, if you need to ask questions about relationships, what is the nature of love? What is the nature of acceptance and, and connection? What is the nature of intimacy and passion? Not why am I so always single? Why am I this? Why am I that? So rather than looking for the problems or the reasons, you open yourself up to be uh, energetically magnetic to receiving the things and manifesting the things that you want to receive and both create in the world. So if you have a problem, ask better questions. If you begin to ask better questions and understand that an answer and solutions will be revealed from there, you have to have the courage to take actions. And when you take those actions, especially consistent action over time, an action that contradicts what is certain to you and, and aligns with the fears that you have, because it's going to be fearful, it's going to be um, scary to step out of your comfort zone, then you can produce results and outcome. So love you guys. Thank you. Hopefully this is uh, beneficial to you. If it is, please share it. If you have any questions, comments, send them below. Um, and again, it's good to reconnect with you guys. I love you. I'll be in here all the time like I always am. See you soon. Bye.